Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here, and I want to apologize. I have a bit of a hoarse voice today because of some medication that I'm taking. What I want to do here is I'm going to explain how to install the KidOps Free Edition. One thing to note, if you have KidOps Pro, then you can use it instead of the KidOps Free. And what the Pro does, it gives you ability to create your own material libraries as well. So let's get started. So here we have the two files that came with the Definitely EV Material System. I'm going to unzip both of them. So let's first install the KidOps Free Edition. I'll go over here and you'll notice that the unzipped folder is named KidOps 2.8 free, and it has a folder in it named KidOps. This is important. This is the name that you're going to want to use. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it and I'm actually going to go to my add-ons folder. My add-ons folder is located at Chip Walters App Data Roaming Blender Foundation Blender 2.8 Scripts Add-ons and I'm going to paste it here. By doing this, every time I download a fresh copy of Blender 2.8, it will automatically load KitOps. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and configure KitOps inside of Blender. Here we have Blender opened, and keep in mind this is working only in Blender 2.8. Let's go into Preferences, and we'll go over here under the Add-ons, and we'll type in Kit. In our file pass for our master folder KPAX, we already have one automatically installed. It's actually in that KitOps folder, so let's take a quick look at that. So here in KitOps, here's the master folder. So this is one place where we can store all of these K-Packs. KitOps Free comes with nine K-Packs, and each K-Pack can have multiple inserts, and each insert has a thumbnail, and each insert has a blend file associated with it. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and save preferences. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a quick tutorial through KitOps Lite. I hit the X button and delete the sphere. And over here, if we look, we have our K-Packs are listed right here. These are all the K-Packs that were in that master folder. And if we click on here, we're going to see what's in each one of these K-Packs. Keeping in mind that K-Packs Free doesn't have all of the inserts that you would get when you purchase K-Pack Pro with the 300 inserts. So as I go through these, let's go ahead and look at some simple cutters. Let's just take this this one right here, this trench part, and I'll select it. Now that it's selected, I'm going to have to select where I want to put it. So I'm going to put it on this object and I can make it auto scale, either to large, medium, small. I can change those numbers by just dragging this around or clicking in it. And uh, we will automatically select the insert. And then this will allow us to show and hide different parts of it. Let's go ahead and press add insert. I'm gonna make it medium, add insert. We'll put it over here somewhere. Okay, and then if I want to, if I wanna center it on the Y, I'll just go over here on Y and go zero right there. Go back to my kid ops. Okay, and then I can of course stretch it if I want scale it up and you can see that that's it working it's working if i want to hide that i'll just go over to my overlays and toggle it off and it's in 